as promised I would make a new video when the tool changer was working yesterday I put the last uh, work on the electronics installing the uh, sensors and put the last hand on the macro so now it's a working tool changer let me walk through the process how it operates right now first thing it does when a tool change command comes in is check if the tool is not already in the spindle if it's already in the spindle it just quits and continues the program if it sees that there needs to be a new tool loaded the first thing it does is look where he needs to drop the current tool and where he needs to pick up the new tool every tool position in the carousel can hold a different tool number so tool position 1 doesn't necessarily need to be tool 1 it can also be tool 50 that way I'm not limited to having 18 tools in my cam library um, to access this uh, table I made a small dialog here you can see the tool slot number with, with the tool that's assigned to it and on the next page you can see that in slot number 18 there is actually tool number 20 so after the system knows where to uh, park the tool and where to pick up the new tool it will trigger the servo the spindle to uh, align the spindle straight then it will move the head all the way up to its top position just for safety after that the head will come down again to the height where the grabbers are aligned with the with the gap in the in the tooling then the system will wait till the driver of the spindle tells that the spindle have been aligned from there the carousel will move into the spindle and wait till the end switch measures that the fork of the carousel is around the tool then the drawbar will be activated and the system waits again till the limit switch the sensor is activated so it knows that the tool should be loose then the head will go up to its top position again then the disc will rotate to the new tool position the head will come down again it will deactivate the drawbar and the system waits again till the top sensor is triggered from there the carousel will retract and then waits again till the other limit switch is uh, triggered then the head will go up again and the spindle orientation will be cancelled and then the process is done if one of those sensors is not triggered in a in a set time so something is going wrong there will be an alarm and the system will freeze and it needs uh, an operator to to figure out what's wrong so let's do a tool change and see how these steps are working so if you go to MDI and change to tool 13 right now tool 10 is in the spindle and we're going to change it to tool 13 it will align wait carousel comes in release move to the next position lower grab retract spindle goes up and it's free to rotate again so let's do another one change to to one which is the timer align carousel comes in rotate
and done. There is one small thing I need to figure out if I can change it. The system sees the carousel as a rotating axis. So when it goes from position 1, which is at 0 degrees, and it goes to position 18, which is at 340 degrees, it goes all the way around instead of go 20 degrees the other way. So if I take tool 18, which is the drill, which is in position 17, this is what happens. It rotates all the way which takes about five seconds to do a full rotation so the process can be a little bit faster if I figure out a way to just go one step the other way instead of 17 steps the other way mm. maybe also nice to show the how the tool setter is working. I created a small dialog for that. It's asking which tool number I want to measure and the approximate length from the spindle nose to the bottom of the tool, which for this tool it's tool number 18 and the length is about 165 millimeters. Press OK. The table will move to its position, the head lowers, and about 5 centimeters before it, it will just go slowly, touch up one time, go up, then it will trigger the, the pneumatic air blast to clear any chip, and then it will touch off again slowly to have a more accurate, accurate measurement, and then the head will retract, and then the the tool library that's in the system is updated. The tool library can hold up to 99 tools. So for me, I can also put tool 99 in any of these pockets. Yesterday, I machined a small part with four different tools. With the tool changer in action, I will upload that movie also and put a link in the description so you can see some small machining with the tool changer in action there gonna be an enclosure around the carousel so it's not easy for dirt to get in and I also want to make a small cover around this part so no dirt can get in there and then now the next step gonna be finishing the enclosure and work on the flood coolant system and when that's done I will show you guys again. <laughs>